He went on to talk about the ethnic and racial makeup of, of the district uh, as, as stacking the get deck against Donald Trump. Do you think it's unfair to say that? Oh, it's absolutely unfair. What Washington, he's simply saying, you know, all of those black people are there and they don't like Trump. And so he's not going to get a fair trial. And so they should take it out of that jurisdiction. It shouldn't be there to begin with. I don't like that. Uh, and I'm surprised that Alan Dershowitz is talking like that. And we will not stand for it. We will push back against that because that is absolutely racist. Alan Dershowitz now joins us. Professor, it is, uh, it is good to see you. Now, I've heard a lot of craziness lately and all these barbs and insults being thrown at people, but that kind of took the cake when you were merely making a comment about the, uh, the way juries operate, grand juries operate in different jurisdictions. And yet a Democrat now has branded you a racist who's a really very popular Democrat right now. What, what's your response to this madness? Well, I learned about jury selection and the role of race and ethnicity in politics from my friend and colleague Johnny Cochran. Um, and of course, when Johnny Cochran tragically died, uh, Maxine Waters proposed that Congress pass special legislation honoring him for his great sensitivity regarding race. If I had said that race is not a factor in the justice system, she would have called me a racist. She tosses around that term so promiscuously that it dilutes the term. She hurts her own cause because she's crying wolf. If everybody's a racist, then nobody's a racist. If I'm a racist, then, you know, what, what is she going to call real, real racist? I mean, I marched in, in the South. I was in all right, guys, we got to talk about Maxine Waters, who admitted the quiet part out loud about the modern day race hustle from the left, which is basically that uh, if you criticize anybody that is a so-called black and brown person that's on the left, by the way, OK, uh, then you are a racist. OK, it has nothing to do with actually being a racist or saying anything that's, that's racist. It's simply just criticisms of them, right? If you criticize them, if you say something they don't like or you exhibit what they interpret to be some type of microtransgression or microaggression, then that is a form of racism. And she admits this in a recent interview. Take a look. As a member of Congress with people, you know, who evidently had a racist attitude mm -hmm. uh, and recently one even confronted me in a restaurant. And they don't say racist things, but right. what they say is uh, they don't like something I said. They don't mm -hmm. like a position that I took. Uh, but you know that, you know, if you were not black, right. uh, you would not be approached that right. way. Right. They probably would not. Right. They no. would think twice about mm -hmm. doing it. They think That's that right. they can get That's away right. with right. doing it with, with you and that you're right. black. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. Now, I want to talk more about the clip and, again, the obvious implications of the clip. But first, I, I just want to play another clip to reveal the sheer hypocrisy of Maxine Waters complaining about getting confronted in a restaurant when she quite literally told people to confront people that she disagrees with politically in restaurants if they support Trump. Take a look. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Yeah, so I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to understand. Maxine Waters thinks that if you approach her in a restaurant and you tell her that you disagree with something that she said, then it is a racist attack against her right you, you are levying a racist attack against her however however she told people that if you see somebody from trump's cabinet out in public at a restaurant at a department store you confront them you get in their faces okay this is what she said so i wonder what that classifies a racist attack as well because you know if her logic was actually consistent, okay, if she wasn't a hypocrite on this issue, then she should agree that one of her supporters who happens to be of whatever race, okay, like, for example, maybe they're black, if they approach a member of Trump's cabinet who happens to be white at a public pr place and confront them about things that they disagree with, then 
that would be a racist attack, right? That would be a black person committing a racist attack against a white Trump cabinet member. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you confronted Maxine Waters about that, she would say no, right? That is a ridiculous thing to say, that it is racist to confront members of Trump's cabinet or administration or even Trump supporters out in public because you disagree with them politically. She would disagree and say, no, it's not racist to confront them. You're just telling them that you disagree with them. However, however, if you confront a black Democrat or a so-called person of color that is a Democrat out in public, just because you disagree with them, then now all of a sudden it's racist, right? It is a racist attack. You wouldn't be saying this unless I was black, right? The only reason you're saying this is because I'm black. Therefore, I know it's racist, which again is just ridiculous, right? It's a ridiculous statement to make to claim that any type of disagreement with you or anybody that disagrees with you is racist. I mean, that is what she's implying. I mean, she's essentially saying that in this interview that if you disagree with me, then I think you're racist. You cannot disagree with me based off the merits of my argument or the claims that I make. No, you can't disagree with me based off the substance. You have to disagree with me based off of my race, which means that, you know, hey, any criticism of her is racist. And this is what I try to tell you guys about how a lot of these people operate politically, okay? Any criticisms of them have to come from a place of hatred and bigotry, right? It has to come from a place of, well, I just don't like you because of your skin color or whatever. And the reason why they do that is to deflect criticism, okay? If you say that, hey, any type of criticism of me is racist, hateful, bigoted, then it's going to be less likely that people are going to criticize you, right? People are going to allow you to get away with things, okay? They're going to make sure that, hey, I'm not going to step on this person's toes. I'm not going to say anything bad about this person because she might accuse me of being a racist. But this is why I say that the best way to fight back against these people is to actually stop caring about being called a racist, right? I think in 2024, being called a racist should be a badge of honor, right? Because being called a racist at this point simply just means that you probably have common sense, right? It probably means that you believe in treating people equally. You believe in treating people based off merit. You don't believe in any sort of special rights and privileges for any group of people. You're also probably pro common sense when it comes to certain policies, like for example, uh, wanting to have strong borders, okay? Because, you know, a lot of people get called racist for saying, hey, I think that we should have strong borders, right? I don't think that we should just be letting illegal immigrants pour into this country, especially unvetted, and uh, just allow them to stay and to live off taxpayer dime, right? They say that you're racist for supporting these types of policies, okay? You're racist if you say, hey, we shouldn't be soft on crime. We should not just be allowing criminals to roam free in the streets and to commit crimes without any type of real punishment we shouldn't do that again they call you racist so again i'm just saying um you know i think being called a racist is a badge of honor in 2024 okay and i think what maxine waters admitted in his interview uh is evidence of the fact that hey that word really doesn't mean anything at this point it really simply just means anybody that disagrees with the left, right? It really does. I mean, this is why I made the mug, right? Racist. Anybody that disagrees with the Democrat Party. So I'm just saying, you know, Maxine Waters is essentially admitting to that in an interview, and I find it to be hilarious. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.